Your life on a daily basis is run by subconscious programs which control what you think and do and how you perceive the world around you. What most people don't realize is that um, we are playing against a rigged system when it comes to living a life we were born to live, as we've been conditioned on so many levels. The first law of conditioning came from the family of origin, and those of us who burned ourselves in our partner choice decisions that um, led to destructive interactions may have realized that these interactions were nothing more than a reenactment of the family of origin burdens, which resulted in compromised development of one or more core capacities, such as connection, achievement, trust, autonomy, and love sexuality. The second law of conditioning came through the schooling system that taught us to stay in line, to stay pigeonholed, to be afraid of collaboration, to accept learning about subjects that uh, were of no interest to us, which would prepare us for staying in jobs we disliked. And finally, the third layer of conditioning came through society programming, which taught us to stay distracted and, uh, and addicted to entertainment on tap or consumption by overspending, which would keep us trapped in a constant race for more of something else and prevent us from ever self-actualizing. Whether family of origin, formal education or society programming, none of these included any depth of self-actualization literacy training. No trace of the hierarchy of human needs, the importance of privacy, ownership or standing out as self-actualization is one of the most important yet least understood needs. There's no formal education on how to become everything we are capable of becoming or how to live a life of truth. So the majority of us um, don't know how to set onto the path of self-actualization other than living a lie to fit in and most, most often on autopilot while being stuck in a survival mode. In principle, if all of us can self-actualize, why do only so few of us do so? In other words, why do most of us become more conformist, bitter, complacent and neurotic with age, rather than more creative, joyous, productive and most importantly individualized? Most people live in a past coded by their environment while struggling to break the habit of their old self as change is the number one fear that is stopping people from progressing. In my upcoming course titled Home and a Quest for Self-Actualization, I'm going to share the most important self-actualization lessons family, school or society fail to teach us and how we can break out of being average with a reference to psychopathology of normality, be less of a victim to your environment and how to live in creation, not survival. So will you get on uh, the quest with me? Do let me know.